So now the not so much fun part of doing the same to the otherwise perfectly fine working mini disc player. Wish me luck. Also side screws. Maybe this also. Hmm. Yep, five screws it appears to be. And here we have the... Why is this so dirty? I never opened this and I got it new, so they produced it dirty, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So then the front panel here, and that again will be interesting. And then how does it come loose? There's some plastic snap in thing, maybe. Yeah, shit, I was pulling here too much unnecessarily around. The trick is that the plastic here is sitting there on the convex part of the screw hole, snapped in. So now I was bending already slightly the metal there, unfortunately. So that is, of course, yeah, when you do it the first time and there are no better instructions on the internet. And here this flat ribbon cable, is this normal to pull or...? Okay. So let's hope we get this back together again. So the display is here in this section, so the rest is only fiddling around on this front section. Let's hope that it goes better. So then let's disassemble this, some screws for the start and let's see where we are getting. So already some metal piece fell off there at the side, wherever that belonged. It's a small plastic piece is already breaking off huh? by itself, I guess, unfortunately. Oh ah, yeah, here's this. At least this nose here broke, not sure if by me or by normal use already, before the disassembly. I guess here are already display cables coming. So here are the displays. And obviously the same connector. So finally I have this separated. Probably need to be careful not to lose parts here. It was rather difficult to get this out. There was actually this screw was holding it in. For, I had this out already multiple times, but it still wasn't coming out, so I screwed it in not to lose this. But so in the end, it was a screw, and otherwise, so this plastic inlet sits in this transparent plastic, and you can then move it out carefully. So this, what do they call it? Sheet or screen or something? Of course, glued. Hope I can get it back in again. So now the displays are apparently also glued. The 
which is of course not nice from Sony. So I hope this razor blade can help us to cut through this adhesive a little bit because it would be a shame if we destroy this display. So this is the adhesive. So unfortunately I was cutting on the glass back side. I hope there was nothing. I thought this white adhesive goes through there. But it didn't. This is of course... Now I wonder where I was cutting. Maybe I destroyed the display after all. So the disassembled one actually still works. But when I switch it on you will see how bad this display really is. Okay, I stopped playing with the old display before I destroy this. There are four 10 euro batteries. Maybe just for the sake of retro collection I will get a replacement battery and assemble this MP3 flash player thing with a less perfect display. Of course even getting this screen half a decent on there was quite a bit of fiddling so here the fun of repairing miniaturization. So let me fiddle all those screws back together with the plastic and such. I will only record small snippets when there is something important. And we have indeed success. Let me assemble the rest though. Also I think this crumbs here Are, so this metal, according to the drawing, goes here, and here I can't put a screw anymore. Because I think the crumbs here that fall out are the threads that was in there, unfortunately. So, and I think this may not even be my fault because I think I barely touched it and it fell out when I disassembled it. So, there. Yeah. So this one screw. Also according to the awesome service manual, goes here. And then you need to watch the hold button to correctly attach there on this micro switch. And the final assembly looks quite good. The only pity is that here is one thing that I think I showed uh, broke off there inside. Otherwise, I think it fitted quite nice together. Not really seeable that it was opened, I think, hope, and such. Also here, maybe. Hmm. Anyway, so, and it really works. And I think you can see that the newly replaced right side is vastly brighter. And before it was barely seeable, so that is a success. However, difficulty level higher than 10, I would say. And I would probably not risk this again if it would not have been for documenting this on YouTube. I would probably have lived with this 
Bali Siebel display for quite many years to come. I hope you enjoyed this repair episode. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And I now need to relax to some music after this nerve-wracking repair. It is of course ironic that the display faded so much, although it is auto dimming as you can see. And, and yet it faded or rotted away.